Welcome back guys. So just yesterday I showed you how to install the free FSR3 frame generation mod by Newcam9. Since then it has received multiple updates even the installation process has been changed. Now this mod works only on RTX GPUs. It basically replaces DLSS frame generation with FSR3 frame generation. I tried it out in different games like Spider-Man, Hogwarts Legacy and Witcher 3. In this video I'll be showing you how to get the mod working with these games. I'll be running them on my Windows PC that has Ryzen 3700X processor and an RTX 2070 Super GPU. Now your experience will vary from game to game. Some games will work with this mod while others will just crash. I tested this mod first in Cyberpunk 2077. My FPS almost increased by 100% but I did observe some minor graphical artifacts. The papers were not rendered properly. So at the moment expect to see some minor graphical artifacts while using this mod. Keep an eye out for its new builds. At the time of recording this video, the latest build is version 0.5. This is the fix. You may be able to enable HDR in games while using this version of mod. Now there is another frame generation mod. It is developed by Luke FC. It's not limited to RTX GPUs only. Should work on older GPUs like the ones from GTX series. At the moment this mod is in early access and it is not free. As far as I know, the author will make this mod free when it is completely stable. It has some bugs in its current stage. For the time being, I'll just stick to the free frame generation mod. Now I'll show you how to get this mod working in Spider-Man Remastered. So just download the version 0.5 build of this mod from here. I'll be downloading the standard version, not the DLSS tweaks version. There's the archive file, need to extract its content. You need to execute this registry file only once. Don't need to run it again and again every time when we launch a different game. Click on yes. Read me instructions. Just need to follow these instructions. Already completed the first step. Now we need to open our games install directory. Copy these two DLL files. There they are. Copied. Open your Steam library. The mod should also work with the Epic Games version of this game. Right click on Spider-Man. Manage. Click on Browse Local Files. This is the game's install directory. We just need to paste the DLL files here. There you go. Now you need to make sure hardware accelerated. GPU scheduling setting is enabled. Right click anywhere on your desktop and click on display settings. Then click on graphics setting. Click on change default graphics settings. Make sure the toggle under hardware accelerated GPU scheduling setting is set to on. That's it. Now just open NVIDIA control panel. From here we will be enabling vSync. Never enable vSync from the in-game settings. Global settings tab. These settings will be applied globally. vSync set to on. You can also create per game settings from here. Just access program setting. You just need to select the game's exe file for which you want to create the profile. In my case it is Marvel Spider-Man. Click on add. There's the game. Scroll down, vSync set to on. That's it, we are ready to run the game. If you have done everything correctly, this prompt will show up. FSR3 frame generation will replace DLSSG frame generation. Click on OK. Game should start. First, I'll run the game without using frame generation, full HD resolution. Frame generation set to off, DLSS enabled, I have set it to quality. Ray tracing enabled. Yeah, there's Spidey. Here I am getting around 77 FPS. I will swing around the city. Okay, 70 to 80 FPS without frame generation. Now I'll enable the setting. DLSS frame generation set to on. Apply. Okay, so the FPS increased up to 120. Frame generation is definitely working. I'm just looking for some graphical artifacts. Game is running very smoothly. Okay, so I'm observing some texture flickering. Lasted for about half a second there. 
not observing any ghosting around the character model. And just swing around the city. There you go. Texture flickering again. So in this game, the textures flicker occasionally while using this mod. If anyone of you knows how we can fix this issue, do let me know in the comment section. I'll be trying out the next game. Now I'll be running Witcher 3 next gen. We'll be using the same version of this mod. Just copy the two DLL files. We don't need to execute the restore nvidia signature checks dot registry file again. Open the games install directory. Then open bin folder. As I'll be running the DirectX 12 version of this game, I'll open x64 underscore dx12 folder. Paste the DLL files here. Now we are ready to run the game. DirectX 12. You should see this prompt. Okay. Our mod is working. Graphics setting. I'll set the preset to ray tracing ultra. DLSS set to quality. Display settings. You can see I have access to DLSS frame generation. Full HD resolution. First I'll run the game without frame generation. There's Geralt. Here we're getting around 39 FPS, almost hitting the GPU bottleneck. So let's see if frame generation can help in improving the performance here. 33 FPS. On. Okay, so with the setting enabled, FPS increased up to 67, 70, way smoother than before. FPS did not drop below 60. I'll just engage in combat. Not observing any graphical artifacts. UI elements are also rendered properly. Got guests. Careful. This mod works very nicely in Witcher 3. Now I'll be trying out the next game. For Hogwarts Legacy, I'll be using the DLSS Tweaks edition of this mod, version 0.5. So just click on this zip file, first one. We also need to download DLSS Tweaks separately. This is its GitHub page. Here link to its Nexus Mods page has been provided. Click on it. You need to have a free Nexus Mods account in order to download any stuff from here. So just sign into your account. Then click on manual download here. Click on slow download. Now we just need to extract the contents of both of these archive files. First we have the mod file. Then we have the DLSS Tweaks archive file. Now we just need to copy these files and paste them in the install directory of the game. First I'll copy the DLSS Tweaks file. Open the game's install directory. Open Phoenix folder. Open Binaries folder. Open Win64 folder need to paste the files here. They are already present in my case but if you are doing it for the first time, these files won't be present here. I'll just overwrite them. Just run this registry file, enable nvidia sig override. You only need to run it once. Now copy the dll files corresponding to the frame generation mod. Transfer them to the same game directory where you transferred the dlss tweaks file. There you go. We are still not done here. Need to tweak one file. Just copy the game's install directory. Click here. Copy. Now open this INI file, DLSS tweaks. Double click. Scroll down to the middle. 
Look for this line of text DLL path overrides. Now we need to remove the semicolon at the start of this line nvngx underscore dlssg. Select the complete directory here. We need to replace it with the game directory that we just copied. Need to add the name of DLL file corresponding to the mod. This one, just right click on it and select rename. Copy the entire line of text. Just add it here after Win64. There you go. Click on File, Save. Close it. For this game, I would recommend deleting its older configuration file before running it. I'll show you the directory where these files are present. Go to C drive, open users folder, open the folder corresponding to your name, open app data folder, then open local folder. Here look for Hogwarts legacy, there it is. Open saved folder. Open config folder. Then delete windows no editor. This folder will be generated automatically when the next time you run the game. Now we are ready to run Hogwarts legacy, play. Okay, so the mod prompt did not show up. This means the mod won't work. I need to exit from the game. This can happen. Just restart the game. Prompt showed up. Now the mod should be working. First, I'll run the game with frame generation disabled. Full HD resolution DLSS set to quality. VSync disabled. Make sure VSync is disabled in all of the games from the in game settings. We have enabled VSync from NVIDIA control panel. All effects enabled. Using the high preset. I load the Hawksmeade area, very demanding. Yeah, there's a character here, we are getting around 60 to 65 FPS. Perfect scenario for enabling frame generation. What's with the poor GP usage? 60% only. Frame generation enabled. Oh my god, the FPS increased up to 135. This is just insane. Yeah, game is running smoothly. I am looking for some graphical artifacts. Hey, looks nice. UI elements are not flickering. The mod works very nicely in this game. This mod should work with other games as well. The games that support TLSS frame generation. At the moment, I have only tested these games. Share the results with you. If you are aware of other games that are compatible with this mod, do let me know in the comment section. I'll try them out as well. That's it with the video guys. I'll end it here. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.